Well, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, quite early. Nice and bright, lovely morning. I'm not sure, but we might have had a bit of a frost last night. It was uh, a very cold, clear night. And I've come to the sheep pasture to have a look round. Um, the sheep have moved. They're in their winter fields of turnips. So I thought I'd have a good look around this morning and then uh, I'll be working till about eight o'clock tonight. So let's have a look and see what we've got, see what's uh, here and what's disappeared because of the cold. Here we're gonna have a little game of spot the shaggy ink cap. I will say now before we start, I've never found a shaggy ink cap here before and I've been coming here three, this will be the third, third year I think, yeah third year, maybe the fourth, fourth year, that uh, I've been coming in this area on the sheep pasture so I'm going to pan round and you'll see if you can find the shaggy ink cap. Have you got him? Right there. Lovely, big, fresh, shaggy ink cap. Maybe it's because the sheep have moved, I don't know. But let's have a look. Oh, we've got an old one beside him. So there's the old one. And there's the lovely new shaggy ink cap. Perfect. Lovely and white. Near enough, not a mark on him. Now you can see why the nickname is Judge's Wig. Can't you? But uh, it's a bit sunny this morning, so it might be a bit difficult to see him, all right? But And this is the older one. This probably come out yesterday. So, uh, by tomorrow he'll be gone. But isn't he lovely? Lovely, fresh, shaggy ink cap. Perfect for eating, but you'd have to take it and cook it straight away. I've tried a couple and they're a little bit slimy for me. The texture's a little bit slimy, so I, uh, I won't be taking him. But, first find of the morning so let's carry on and see what else we can find now here we've got quite a few big clumps of of uh, common ink caps about the bottom of this tree now this tree last year and the year before had lots and lots of velvet shanks this year we've had nothing yet but there looks like there could be something happening. As you can see, there's some tucked away behind there, look. Can't quite see them. I don't know if they'll develop more or not, but these are definitely look like a big clump of velvet shanks to me, which is a great sign because they're lovely edible, but uh, we'll have to wait a few weeks to see what happens. Here you can see we've got some lovely blackening wax caps. They've got to that stage now where they're really dark. He's gone over completely, he's black. But uh, we've still got young ones coming up beside them, look. There's one there, another one there. There's one by my foot. So we've still got wax caps coming up even though the nights have got colder. But uh, these are old ones that have really started to turn black. So let's see if we can see some really nice ones. Here we've got a lovely blackening wax cap. As you can see, it's just started to blacken. Gone that dark 
brownie colour first and then it'll get darker and darker but he's a big size a lovely size so let's uh, carry on and see what else is in store here we've got a lovely little clump they've all started to turn this one's not too bad he's still that dark orangey color and then over here in the sun we've got a bigger one with a little small baby beside him so there's still loads and loads of blackening wax caps here we've got some lovely snowy wax caps coming up here there we go so that's definitely the third different wax cap we've got we'll have to see if we can find a proper parrot to make it four which is great great start to the morning now here we have got two massive blackening wax caps look at the size of them they've started going black already and right next to them there's a another young one just coming through look but look at those aren't they beautiful just starting to go black look like an old piece of oak there we go so let's carry on here we've got some nice blackening wax caps young ones and we've got a lot coming up there two more there a little tiny one hiding in there another one coming up here look so that's five or six all in one little area pleased to see they're all still here it's not too cold for them yet well we found some old wax caps and I'm sure this is a wax cap as well let's have a look underneath yep that green stem and those beautiful gills there we go look at those beautiful colors so we're definitely on four wax caps now there's another there's another nice parrot wax cap look hiding in the grass let's see if there's some more oh right behind me there you go right behind me lovely wax caps another little tiny baby hiding in there look nice and green got that orangey top to him let's just have a little look around I'm not sure if there's any more well, there's some snowy wax caps some nice snowy wax caps there look oh what we got here oh we got another parrot hiding away got that green tinge to his cap still so we're having a good morning so far let's see what else there is here we got a nice parrot wax cap and it's one of those that's got that pinky tinge to it pinky brown a couple more look there's a young one there and there's another one coming up there look that green and pinky color cap they're not all bright green like uh, some of them are really bright green beautiful green but uh, there are different shades to parrot wax caps the best thing to do is just to pick them and look underneath and you'll see those yellow and green gills here we've got two lovely blackening and wax caps with that lovely yellow stem i don't know if you can see them all right with the sun coming down but uh, really nice and big so we'll have a look and see what else is about now now i'm not 100 percent sure but i think these are either orange wax caps or they could be parrots but i'm not 100 percent sure without picking one and uh, looking at the gills but aren't they lovely lovely colors so we'll carry on right now i've took some pictures and we're going to pick him and see if it's a parrot yes it's a parrot 
as you can see it's got those lovely green hints in the center of the gills look I don't know if you can see it all right there you might see it better here in the sunshine there you go so he was nearly completely yellow or completely orange and it turns out to be a parrot so we do get some parrots with different color caps we get those creamy color caps bright green light green olive green yellow some have even got like a a hint of purple on them but there you go a lovely big yellow parrot wax cap so let's carry on and see what else we can find we've got some lovely big chunky apricot clubs here look coming up through the grass they love this mossy grass there's another one and there's some more there it's always a good sign of healthy uh, grass it means it hasn't been treated it's just been left naturally to grow so let's uh, move on and see if there's any more gems waiting for us here on this log it looks like we've got some common bonnets just coming through they was here last year there's a couple more just coming through there look So that's something interesting for this morning's walk. Well, I'm on the way back to the car and there's a lovely, great big old blackening wax cap just going brown. It'll soon go black. So there we go. It's been a nice morning's walk. I've had about an hour and a half looking around. I might come up here early tomorrow morning and do uh, another different area that I haven't done to see what we've got there but uh, thank you for staying until the end everybody thank you for all those who have subscribed and please feel free to just like and subscribe or share with your friends it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and it uh, helps the channel out so everybody have a lovely Saturday afternoon hopefully your team win if you're a football fan and don't forget Keep your eyes open.